Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is to answer a question from a viewer about how secure is Wi-Fi. So he says that a friend of his has a laptop that you know uh, goes into he goes in neighborhoods and hacks into uh, people's Wi-Fi and and can see files on computers and stuff like that. So it made him wonder if Wi-Fi was truly a secure way of connecting wirelessly devices. So here's the thing about Wi-Fi. So we talked about the different generations of Wi-Fi um, and we can, um, you know, talk about several aspects of the connection on Wi-Fi. So here we're going to talk about home connections with Wi-Fi and how secure they are will depend on several things. First of all, um, your Wi-Fi connectivity will have a certain generation of Wi-Fi connectivity. So often what you'll see is uh, the type of connection, for example. So are you on a private network? Are you a public network? So of course, private network at home, public network recommended if you don't want to see your device discoverable. If you don't have any other computers in the home, um, often even Windows will recommend that you always click the public network option because this doesn't block you from anything, but it prevents your PC from being available when connected on a, a router on Wi-Fi with other devices. Now, why mine is at private? It's because I share files and I share it between PCs. So mine PCs need to be discoverable but that's on my own private network here at home. On a public Wi-Fi, I would go into public network to make sure that my PC isn't discoverable. The other thing about uh, the uh, connectivity here is and has to do with the um, type of Wi-Fi and protocol you have. So Wi-Fi 3, 4, 5, 6, the latest generations. Um, Usually, newer devices, if you've got a router, if you've got a modem that actually has Wi-Fi in it, that is fairly recent. In general, you are quite secure if your computer also can use the latest Wi-Fi protocols. So here I'm on Wi-Fi 6, which is the AX, uh, 802.11ax. So I have the latest protocols of security with WPA uh, security and so on which means hacking into my network should technically be a tough job. Um, and remember that there's always the scale of the security. The tougher it is to be able to break a connection, the more important you need to be for that to happen. What I mean is if you need to work real hard to get into a Wi-Fi and into someone's computer, um, it isn't interesting to go in a neighborhood and see what people are doing on their PCs, even if you're capable of doing it. You will use that to go into business PCs, bank PCs, or whatever that will give you the possibility to make money. So always think about that when we think about security. If it's hard to do or almost impossible, it's not you're not going to be the target unless you're some big business guy that really deals in millions of dollars and that you can they can make a quick cash out of it. So that is one layer of security here. Second of all, I think your friend is bogus because the latest protocols of the latest devices are not really hacked into or they I don't want to use the word hackable because if somebody would search, you know, there could be a flaw somewhere we don't know yet that makes it hackable. But technically, we don't have any proof of being hacked through Wi-Fi in a normal Wi-Fi condition with modern devices. Where it could be doing something is if some people are using inferior Wi-Fi connectivity. So we talked about the security, which is WPA. You see here, I use WPA2. There's now something called WPA3 on newer modems. 
and devices, which is their latest Wi-Fi security protocol. These are really good. Where it could be possible that he goes into systems is if you use WPA, the first generation of WPA. Um, I don't believe most people use it anymore, but there was a time when there was something called WEP, W-E-P. That is the worst Wi-Fi protocol because it is very easy to hack into. And actually, when I did my tech duties, there were quite a few people that called me for service because they wondered why their um, internet bill was higher because they had a data cap and they would be paid, paying surcharge for data that went over the cap, the data cap. And they weren't really using much of the internet, so it was kind of weird. And many times I've noticed that a neighbor had hacked into the our WEP. And I would tell them, it's like, your Wi-Fi you know, is not... Uh, secure on that level. We have to bump it up to WPA and WPA2. So that would fix the problem most of the time. So older protocols can be hacked into, but the latest protocols with the latest devices, I don't think um, your friends are going to be able to go in there. The uh, other thing also has to do in another way, in another sense, with the... Um, age of your device, the older your modems and your uh, router is, the more susceptible it is to certain types of attacks and hacks, which means that if you have a router that's five years old and it doesn't get any updates anymore, there are security flaws that can be found in some of the, model, the models that can give a possibility of being hacked in different ways, either from the traffic from the web that it handles, or maybe it opens a flaw where, yes, somebody could hack into uh, a, a router in a Wi-Fi connection due to lack of security on the router side of things. So that's why, personally, I rarely have anything that's older than about two to three years because... I want to make sure that I have the security updates on these devices. Now, once again, we have to put it into perspective. That's also what happens here. If you run a business, you need the latest devices uh, most of the time because you want to always stay secure. If you're at home just doing a little bit of internet and email, even if your router is four or five years old and has some security flaws, the chances of you being targeted are rather low. It would have to be somebody roaming in the neighborhood just to do that. And once again, you know, you got to put the perspective of what is there to gain to do it on your internet connection. So that's why we don't hear about, you know, hear much about people being hacked under Wi-Fi or anything. There's the, the question of why would they target you, but there's also the question of many other things, including... Today's devices are quite secure. Once again, security is never 100% on any device, on anything. Uh, that's why they have hacker conferences. That's why they have um, all sorts of uh, events where they want some uh, people to hack into devices so that they'll know uh, if there's a flaw or not within it. So, And then they could fix it and then fix the devices that are affected. So uh, that's pretty much the, the, the thing on Wi-Fi. For the most part, it's secure. Where it isn't uh, is really if you would be in a public network. I avoid public networks personally because I don't want to go in any of the public networks. I always use the roaming data that I can connect my phone to any device rather than connect to a Wi-Fi network on public. But at home, I think you can uh, just, you know, be safe as long as your devices are not too old. If you've got a router that's more than you know five, six years old, hasn't had any updates in the last couple of years, um, you know, I would think about maybe uh, changing it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.